Second poem you mentioned too, repetition over a long period of time. Move up some, do what? And we mentioned, we didn't mention the third form. Give an example of the third form real quickly. Kata, that means you kill. Ka, take a little more time to say it. means he was fighting. You ain't just gonna go up and kill me. You're gonna have to fight me. So ka you're gonna take some time. You want to try to kill me. So this third form means there's some action coming against you and you're trying to fight me. ka that means to strive in, in a particular endeavor. Jahada means to strive. But you're striving against something. We're striving against Satan. We're striving against our, our own nefs, right? Yes. So there's some reciprocity happening there. There's a that's force the, that's, that's the dealing power. with that. Okay? And we mentioned the fourth one so far. State of becoming. Falsation. I mentioned, I mentioned dynamism. Sometimes caused by Allah. Then we have the reflexive. The fifth one. We mentioned that too. And I'm missing an ayah that deals with the fifth form. It has an ayah in the Quran where Allah says that if the prophet, hold on, if the prophet would have said something from himself, <clears throat> put it on us, Allah says in the Surah 69, we would have seized him by the right hand <clears throat> and then, you know, stop him from doing it. Yeah. And then cut off the audio of the heart. We would have killed him. That's what Allah says that he would have done. And he puts the kawala, kawala means he said, the kawala means to say something from himself. And put it on somebody else, they said. But well, Allah lets you know, I want the problem's not going to do that. They push the, the, the hypothetical law in front of it, just for your mind to think that he might you know, have a little slippage. <laughs> but Allah, for he knew that Muhammad was not going to falsify nothing that he came with. It's just for our minds. He's telling you what he would have done. Stop them from doing it first and then kill them. It's a kawala in the fifth form. Okay, that's the form. So all of these forms have uh, meaning. I don't know how much time I got, I'm going to try to address it real quick here. The sixth form means, as I mentioned, mutuality and whatnot, tabaraka, we mentioned tafa'ala, tabaraka. Then we have this seventh form, infa'ala, right here, infa'ala, to allow something to be done to the self. That's infa'ala, the second form, what does that mean? Allah mentions in the uh, Surah 55 how in Shaka, the moon was split. The moon is going to submit to the splitting, but it's already been made to split at a particular time. So the nature of this occurrence is not going to happen outside of the moon, but within the moon itself, it's going to happen. So that's what the self form is. Something that you're allowed to do to yourself. Like we say, Surely to our Lord we are returning. Why are we returning? Because for every soul there's death. So we are returning right now. We don't know when we're going to return. But Allah is letting you know, letting us know, by putting it in the seventh form, this return that y'all got is part of what I created you to do. Mm -hmm. okay. and then we had the eighth form, internal operation, doing something to the self. Again, internal operation. And we'll mention the, 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 the uh, ninth form has some of the characteristics and defects. Okay, now, pride of the desert. The Arabian horse. Okay, scroll up a little bit. Here we go, pictures trying to make it look interesting. Very powerful uh, item here. Mm. It's sure, it's just a Walari at the Dabaha, but Muni at the Kadha. I'm going to read all of them. But here, Allah is telling you and I that He swears by the horses that run with the panting breath. And he remember how he told us years ago, he said, the horse, if you beat him, he will run himself to death. I didn't know that about a horse. Mm -hmm. You keep hitting him, hitting him, he'll run himself to death. Yeah. And he remember yeah. on the talks about, why do you think they call it, when you make an engine, they say 20 horsepower or 50 horsepower. Whoa. So that you run it over that amount, it's going to kill over. Mm -hmm. So Allah is telling you and I about this horse. Mm -hmm. He says, and he, uh, from moving around to top of the high, and he strikes sparks of fire. Nighttime battle, going into battle. You know he coming, you look and you see all these sparks coming up in the dark. He's fearless, he's still coming. Then when the daytime comes, the dust be coming up. He raised the dust. Mm -hmm. You see him in the daytime too. Mm -hmm. and then he says, when he get into the midst of the fog, and they penetrate forthwith in the midst of the fog. You know, the master on there with the guns and the swords and all of that. 
forces at attention. He, he ain't gonna buck him off or anything like that. You got four minutes to go, okay? Come do that. And then Allah changes the tenor of the, of the sword. It's a thing that rock be whom uh birds that. In the insanity, Rabbi, he like I knew. Surely the human being is ungrateful to his Lord. So here I was telling you and I clearly. I gave you on a horse that'll give his life you 100%. Why don't you give 100% to me? Aye. This is the message Allah's given us. We know we're not going to be perfect, but at least the idea of wanting to be a service to Allah is what we should be about. And then he goes on to say, And surely he by what he does, he's a witness that he's ungrateful. Mm -hmm. And here, see that L right there? L A. The word is can move is ungrateful. But Allah didn't say you're ungrateful. He put an L there. You're extremely ungrateful. Mm -hmm. But you don't mm -hmm. get that in the English translation. Mm -hmm. Lack I knew. The lie is not needed. But Allah puts it in there. Get you to think about it. Then he puts it over here. La Shahid. Surely you are a witness to the fact that you're ungrateful about what you do. Mm -hmm. He's clearly telling us that. He says, well, in now he hook built Kyrie last year. He hit the lag again. Surely, in respect to the love of higher good, you are strong. You want good. Give me good, Allah. Give me good, Allah. Man came to the prophet say his clothes was haram, his speech was haram, and he wondered why Allah wasn't blessing him, you know? Oh. And then Allah said, okay. And uh, you all have moved you there with the Iran man. Boo boo, you can go up. Does he not know that when graves are opened up, that everything he did was already clocked and recorded by Allah? So Allah is trying to beckon us and lead to the idea of being more grateful and more obedient. Okay. So I'm just trying to show you that to let you know that there's some coherency to the Quran. Talking about horses, and all of a sudden change, talking about human beings, you got to get the tidies in. The Coherence of the Quran. I read a book called uh, Coherence of the Quran by Mustang Samir. He was a professor at the Youngstown State uh, years ago. And ever since I read that book, it was beneficial with my approach to study the Quran. Coherence of the Quran, the book is called. So I say, do horses give 100% to their masters? And you know that sword is 100. That sword that we just recited is sword 100. Isn't that something? Yeah. <laughs> That's sword 100. 100%. So y'all know him, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is he called? The Arab. Camel. Camel in English is the Jamal. Jamal. Yeah. Jamal. 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 In Arab. And Jamal means what? Handsome. Handsome and beautiful. Does he look handsome and beautiful? <laughs> to, to, to eat your, to his mother. For what he does. He finds that water when you need it on the desert. You, know? you, you can get milk from him. You can get the fur from him. Take you from point A to point B. All of this, you know? Okay. So Jamila is the feminine. I don't want to leave the women out. Jamila, Jamal. Yeah. Okay. All right, here's the ostrich. And here's the Arabic word for ostrich right here. One of them. Valine. Some of you know Arabic. What is the root of Valine? Dalim. Uh, Dalimat, right? Yeah, what does Dalimat mean? That's yeah, darkness. darkness, right? Darkness. To darkness. oppress something, to wrong yes. something, to put something in the dark, put it in the wrong place. Yes, so this is what the ostrich does. He put his eggs in the wrong place on the desert, and the hawks come down and get him. Oh. He uh, puts his head down low. And likes to you know, eat bugs and stuff. But he can eat leaves from the trees. This is a metaphor of the human being. Oh. We like to be in darkness and whatnot instead of eating the leaves of knowledge and whatnot, you know? Mm -hmm. Darlene. That's what he's called mm -hmm. in the everything. So I, I like to joke around and say, yeah, they might have been walking around the desert one time and they knew what darkness was and they saw him and put his head in the dirt. See, that's Darlene. That's Darlene right there. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. So let me just mention this. Go ahead some more. So what is the matter with, with them that they turn away from this reminder like they are affrighted donkeys? Abdul Ismaili read that particular uh, ayah. He says asses. Affrighted asses. <laughs> mm. So here's Allah talking about people who run away from this Quran. What is wrong with y'all? Let y'all run away from this light, you know? Like you run it, like donkeys running from a lion. 
Mm. And so I said to myself, yeah, you can kind of see how this believer would do that. But should the Muslims be running from the Arabic Quran? No. Every Muslim should be a student of the Quran. Y'all mm -hmm. know I've been doing this for 40 years. Mm -hmm. I want to do this to y'all so y'all can take it further and come back and give me some life. Everybody should have some knowledge of this Quran. If you're an engineer and do this and that, you should be able to make contact with this book yourself and understand it. It's a strange phenomenon. So I think a lot of I don't have that, but there's a lot of us who don't have a real interest in it. Many times that thing is difficult. But I know how to make it easy. I've been doing it too long. Not too long. People teach you how to teach it. Okay, go ahead. Move on. So I got a picture of a lion and uh, some dogs. <laughs> Not the best to pitch, I kind of moved out with them. But they say that when, when, when donkeys are in fright, they be howling all kind of strange noise, real repulsive to the spirit. Mm -hmm. So here Allah is, is, is using what he knows about his creatures to try to give a message to the human being. But y'all running like a bunch of donkeys, lions coming after you. Here you shouldn't be running, you should be coming to this light. <coughs> okay, go ahead. I think I'll just about finish. But yeah. so here's your the first here in Nakala ala Farouk and Adin, you remember Muhammad said, You are the crown of the creation. That's the term you use, right? Talking about Muhammad. I like to say, Surely, surely, Muhammad is our, you are an exalted, magnificent creation. I like the word magnificent. Mm -hmm. Adin, I like magnificent. I like magnificent. <coughs> yeah, I heard you. Okay, so here you see that Allah is assuring Muhammad that you are a magnificent creation. You, you have morals, you have virtue, you have honor, move on. I'm talking about creation, I hope I'm going on a little bit, go back, go back, I'm sorry, go back, I'm sorry. Excuse me, get a little quick. Okay, so in this story, real quick, there's coherency. A lot talks about Muhammad having an excellent character. Yeah. And then in 68.13, he's talking about one who's been extremely like that, and not go up now. He says, some people are like Zanines. They're useless to the social world. Do you have people like that? They're useless to the social world. Zanin, useless to the life of the gold. See those, those little protrusions coming down there? Yes. It's like earrings, right? Yes. Scientists say that from, from what they know, they have no, no use for the life of the gold. Mm. So Allah is characterizing some human beings that he has created as useless as the, the waddles on the gold. The word is used is Zanin, 68. Uh, 13. So I just find that beautiful that Allah would take animals from us watching them and looking at them to give us some reminders of how we should not be and reminders on how we should be. Zanin, look it up. Okay, so push in my book real quick. <laughs> so I want to have a right here. On the back of the sheet there, I'm telling you what uh, Imam Muhammad said about the book and uh, what Sheikh Ali out of uh, Canton said about the book. I don't mind getting paid. But I, if I had a lot of money, I wouldn't even ask it. I get away free, but I can't do that. <laughs> so this is what the book is about, uh, explaining the language. And uh, you all probably know the man called me a scholar. I was shocked. I was sitting right there. <coughs> and maybe Talar Wallace was the one that got the book to his father. And he had some security. He was trying to stop me from getting the book to the man. Wow. And, but I gave the Wallace. The Wallace walked on up there and gave him the book. And some of the security guys looked like, what you doing? And Wallace looked like, I can go see my dad when I want to go see my dad. <laughs> That's what he did that day. <laughs> but I saw him getting in motion that he's trying to stop me. I knew that already. So I said, I'm going to get Wallace to do it. And he did. Great detail. Yeah. <laughs> they not around no more either. That's it. That's it. That, that's uh, trouble. Uh, that's a lot. A lot of get get the last item up too. The last item up here is not. Let me know in a minute. Go up. We've got two things going. The last item. There's two two things. I love this item. Kaja akum min Allahi nur al waqitabun mubin. No doubt from Allah has come to you all a light and a plain book. So he's telling us that this book is for everybody, not just for the Muslim, but for everybody. Yeah. He gives it the light for you to understand it, and it's plain too. Do we believe it? Okay. I thank you very much. I hope I didn't go too far over. <laughs> <laughs> so here, thank you.